All right, how we doing today? Just taking a little break here. So this will be my second video of the day. I just had to give things some thought and I was uh, doing some other things here. But anyway, I want to talk about Sage Steele, all right, of ESPN, well, formerly of ESPN now. And she's been terminated. Uh, I, ju I just think there was some in internal problems, but the storyline is because she was tested for uh, COVID, um, she had got the COVID shot under pressure and uh, tested positive for it and then was fired. But again, I just think that it, there was probably some internal problems. Somebody had a problem with her and I think that they wanted to make some changes, okay? Now, I want to start by saying this, all right? I'm not anti-vax. You do what you feel that's right for you, okay? You guys have your reasons why you do things. So this, is, again, is just for educational purposes. I may just speak just a little, not much, about the, the vaccine itself, okay? Just as far as the capabilities, just a little bit, a tad bit. All right, so... I have seen articles about Sage Seal that she was under pressure to get the vax. Uh, ESPN wanted everybody to have the vax uh, or their job was in jeopardy from my understanding. So I didn't do too much uh, research on that. Okay, just like a lot of other um, Fortune 500 companies. So, and I did see an article about, yes, her being under pressure. And what I don't understand is that she took the vax, tested positive, and they fired they fired her anyway. Okay. Now let me explain let me explain this to you. Okay. When you get the vax, what they do is they give you a little strand of COVID. All right. Because basically what it does is it it it, it uh, galvan uh, galvanizes your immune system. Okay. So you probably were gonna have, you know, uh, symptoms or you may have no symptoms at all for a while, a couple of weeks, and then you'll have the antibodies, all right? If you get tested for uh, uh, positive for COVID after a couple of weeks after uh, quarantine, you're gonna have the antibody, uh, antibodies anyway, all right? That makes sense? So, um, Again, I'm not gonna go on to uh, make my opinion on if you get it or not, all right? And again, I don't wanna say nothing that's gonna get flagged. It's gonna get me flagged. Um, but I'm just thinking, well, they knew if she would get the vaccine, then she would be tested positive. She was tested positive right after she got the, uh, the vaccine, all right? And then they, like I said, they fired her anyway. She complied and they fired her. So again, I'm just thinking that it could be about money. It's usually always about money, all right? Uh, something about she was uh, giving some people some problems in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the management, okay? Or executive management, personality problems. But usually a lot of that has to do with getting a lot of uh, these experienced people out, okay, or a certain age, all right, that are not going to, uh, to comply as well, or maybe they may not comply fully, get people in there that they can control and pay them less, all right? I've seen this happen too, too many times. I've seen this happen in the military. I've seen this happen in civilian uh, sectors and all that, all right? Because it's really all about productivity as, as much as they can, these companies can get. And in return to pay as much as, uh, as less as they, uh, as they can pay. That's really what it's all about. And I made a video about uh, Stephen A. Smith. Okay, about getting out of the corporate world or maybe having your own little hustle, even if you're working with somebody. All right. And... I commend probably Sage Steele, all right, because she did stand up for herself in certain 
in certain matters and all that, okay? Although she did comply, I do uh, admire her for having some uh, some type of backbone. Um, I just thought what ESPN uh, did was wrong, but hey, it's business, all right? And in any job, I can tell you that from being the business owner or um, and or having my own business, they can fire you really for any or no reason. Okay, yes, they can. Um, trying to, th I'm trying to think what else. She has a, this is a Miss Miss uh, Steele, has a very extensive, very impressive uh, record there of uh, you know resume. That she did a lot of local sports uh, stuff, and she was uh, brought on to ESPN probably about about ten years ago. Okay, so I just think that probably from a business sense, all right. And I hate to have to say this, but I think that many women are probably more expendable than men are. Okay, in a uh, industry like that, sports and all that. Okay. Um, a lot of these sports figures at one time that they were athletic, you know what I'm saying? She looks very athletic, very uh, well manicured, very uh, well kept lady. You know, she's 48 years old, years young. She looks great. I mean, so I don't see not why necessarily why you know they had to, to force these uh, these people, but I guess it's just all about compliance these days, and. I just think that maybe hopefully maybe she could start her own like radio show or uh, I don't know she she may end up getting into uh, to another net network or maybe do a YouTube thing or uh, some type of radio podcast but I just think that uh, because of stuff like this it's probably good you know to either like I say the find a way out of, of the corporate world so you don't have to deal with all this rhetoric, okay? One day they'll say that they need you. One day they don't, all right? I mean, I just don't think it's really structured for people that look like me and and you. That's if you look like me, all right? And then they use a woman as a, as a pawn. And when they done with you, they done with you. Uh, I just think that probably a lot of people want to acquiesce an ESPN and then, you know, other uh, sectors because they want to, you know, keep their they want to keep uh, their money. They want to keep their salaries, you know, so they can be able to provide for their families. But you see how they're doing. All right. That they're complying. And then they'll say, well, we're done with you anyway. Um, or they'll keep these a lot of these uh, stipulations in order. All right. People thinking that, yeah, you know, you can go on and get this, you know, you know what, and it's going to be over, but all right, the stipulations, and it's going to be like this for quite some time. So going, are going to remain in place until probably the, the forces, all right, feel that uh, they have the stats to the way they want it to be. All right. So again, I hope I was able to explain this video without saying anything against the vaccine all right but we're talking about compliance here and somebody being punished for compliance and i just don't think that's fair um but hey you know i guess some people you got to do what you got to do you know to keep your job or to keep your family or whatever but there's just no guarantees at all all right and that being said that's it for now feel free to subscribe share leave your comments Check out some of the other videos. If you want to donate to the channel uh, on Cash App, dollar sign Winston Spivey, or SPIVEW1 at unlv.nevada.eu for uh, PayPal. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next video.